So welcome back. So I'm just going to write a first line of code now, uh, and I just want to do it on both Mac and Windows because it's very, very simple to do. Um, let's start out on the Windows machine here. What really annoys me right now is when I run this console application, you just see a black screen that pops up and hides again. So you, the console application isn't staying around, right? You just saw it there pop up and hide again. Now to get around this on the Windows machine, we'll just make a new line of code here, console, which is doing something with the console, uh, the command prompt, or on the Mac, it's uh, the terminal. So we'll do read line here, like this, and we'll do start in parentheses to explain to the system, do not lock down the system until I actually click something. You have to do this on the Windows. <clears throat> the Mac already has a built-in that makes sure it stays there until you press any key to continue. So I just added this new line, and I'll just run the console application again up here by pressing the small green arrow. Now it will actually pop up and stay there and you just made your first console application on Windows that can actually show something and keep showing it. As soon as I press anything, it reads a line on the Mac so I can do something here, but when I press enter, it'll think I'm done, I'll shut down the application. So that's kind of what you need. That's one way to actually get the console or command prompt to stay there so you can start working with this just by adding the read line right here. So I'll just put a comment here. Um, make console stay until we wanna shut it down. That's why we add this right now. So that's actually it for this lesson, but I just wanna show you, you can do exactly the same on the Mac. I can right here, I can say console, console dot write line, uh, sorry, read line like this, and it'll actually autocomplete for me. And now I have the exact same thing on the Mac, but this is not required for the Mac, but just to show you, you can use the same code on the Mac as you use on the Windows machine. See you in the next lesson where we'll start making something a bit more fun.